Welcome to Wales. Do you know that in Welsh? I don't know that in <laughs> Welsh, actually, no. So pretty early start this morning. We were up and about, I guess, five-ish. Um, just spent the best part of an hour with one, possibly two, maybe even three different dippers. Um, the first of which was incredibly obliging, fairly confident, probably sat there for the best part of 40 minutes, allowing us to take quite a lot of relatively close images and some really good video footage um, the second and third behaved probably more typically dipper and quite hard to get close to um, but were acting as if they were sort of courting or certainly some courtship behavior chasing each other around um, the weather's amazing so if this is the sign of things to come for the rest of the trip then we're in for a good one. Right now, I'm looking across the river at the only aquatic songbird in the UK. The light's getting beautiful. I managed to drop the ISO right down so that hopefully we can get some amazing images and it's just sat here preening. I'm probably about 20 meters away from it.
so the first full day. It's been brilliant. We started early this morning with a couple of hours on the Elan River near the Elan village with some incredibly obliging dippers. We went from there into the Elan Valley itself and had some breakfast and then looked for some more dippers but, but didn't have any joy so settled for some hide and grey wagtails. And then we went down to the National Cycle route through the Elan Valley up towards Aberystwyth and stopped at the Red Kite station and watched the kite feeding at three o'clock, which is a spectacle as it always is. And then we headed up into Snowdonia um, and we're now in the Snowdonia National Park. We are just around the corner from the Mac Loop, which we're hoping to go and shoot tomorrow. We saw so many aircraft overhead today, low flying, and also those that had clearly all gone through the loop that had gone back up high to return to their respective air bases. We weren't gonna do the Mac Loop tomorrow, but I think the temptation was too great. So we're actually at a campsite now so that we can have a hot shower, refresh ourselves, and then we're gonna commit the day to the Mac Loop tomorrow before then heading across into sort of northeast Wales into the moors and hopefully catch a black grouse lek and then spend some time on the moors looking for hen harriers, other raptors, potentially some red grouse, and just seeing what we can find before then heading back south. So yeah, incredible start to the trip, brilliant first day, some great footage, some great still images, hopefully a decent night's sleep tonight and then full day at the Mac Loop tomorrow. So for the purposes of the outtakes, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to interview Mr. Robert Fleming. Uh, Rob, piece of advice, please, for any aspiring photographer. Uh, always take the lens cap off, so that when you walk into a environment, any environment, you're ready to shoot. I don't follow the advice myself very often, as has been proven today, when I missed a wind chat and a wheat ear with a caterpillar in its mouth. Yeah. But it's very sunny. The wind's up, the sun's coming back out, so 